All right, all right. Mama tried here. Doing a little shooting down here, just gonna ring some steel. And uh, you know, Mama tried here, we're pretty big Glock fans. Uh, especially the Glock 10 millimeters and uh, 45s, the big guns. Um, well, I always thought it'd be cool to have a long barrel 10 millimeter. And most, every, most of them shooting six, six and a half inch lone wolves. Um, I shoot one on my 20. And I come across a nine inch lone wolf <clears throat> and was able to pick it up and have put it on a Glock 21. And pretty much all the same. The only thing about this one, it's got the um, ambidextrous safety. How about that for a 50 cent word? And, uh, you know, just it's got a couple of upgrades on it, got some stippling on it. Got a Burris fast fire sight on it which is pretty cool um, I do recommend those those are pretty neat wish I could hit better with it but you know how it goes um, anyway we're gonna fire this thing off and see how it goes Well, we hit steel a couple of times. One out of ten ain't bad. You know, it only takes one shot, right? All right. Well, that's it. You know, we're pretty impressed with it. Um, the only thing I'm going to do is uh, probably redo the recoil springs because, you know, it is a 10 millimeter. Um, and it ain't really that, you know, it ain't really that it's that much recoil. It's just it's hard to hold on to for somebody with, that is short-handed like myself. Um, but, you know, the burst fast fire, I do appreciate that and uh you know as far as the glock is a short frame uh, i do like those and 10 millimeter well it's 10 millimeter all right and uh all right that's it thanks guys